Hey everybody, welcome to the FCBL, and we got two really good games going for you. First one going to be the New York Mets going into Philadelphia to take on the Phillies. We have Robbie Ray taking on Aaron Nola for the Phillies. So let's see how these teams can do. It's a very good pitching matchup. Nola is actually the better pitcher on the season, and there he is walking to the mound preparing. Here he is facing Robinson Cano, and that's going to be a nice dribbler over to first. They're going to get the double play. That's going to help them get out of their first inning. And now Robbie Ray coming in to strike out Hoskins, and then Roberto Ninadino, the user player, is going to fly out to right field, so that'll get them out of the first inning. Then Nola going to get the strikeout on Chris Bryant. And then we have Brandon Nimmo coming up for the double to left field right down the line. Nimmo going to get himself on base and give the Mets a chance here. It's going to be Rosario. He grounds out to short. Runner does not advance. Now Wilson Ramos coming up to the plate and he will strike out. Nola able to get out of that inning, but then here we go. Top three with two out. It's Jeff McNeil sending the long ball out to right field. That thing is gone, and the Mets take a 1-0 lead. Now for the Phillies with two on, it's going to be Hoskins flying out. Robinson Cano went really far back on that one. Now here comes Conforto, and he is going to get this odd, weak, bloopy play out to left field. It's not caught by Bo Bichette, and that's going to be a double for him. So now up comes Chris Bryant with none out, and he is going to pop out to second base. The infield fly rule in effect there. And now here comes Brandon Nimmo. He will strike out looking. And then Rosario going to come up. He hits that thing into center, but it is caught. So able to get out of that. Now Chris Bryant in the top of the sixth. He's going to launch one deep into left field. And that one will hit the stands for a solo shot. 2 nothing Mets. Into the seventh, we have Avalon pitching. And he's going to give up. A single to Colton Welker, and that's going to score a run and give the Phillies a shot. It's 2-1. to one. Here's Bo Bichette, and he's going to hit one down the left field line. That's going to bring another run in, and look at this. Stretching to runners on the corners. Success. Here comes Reese Hoskins. He's going to get one down, and the Phillies have put three on the board here in the bottom of the seventh. Seth Lugo going to come in as the Mets just cannot take it anymore. And Lugo going to face Roberto Ninadino and get him to strike out. Awesome play there. Then here is this weird, I don't know, kind of strikeout, I guess, and that's going to end that inning. Robertson going to come in in the eighth here for Philadelphia. Jeff McNeil is going to hit himself a single that should have maybe been caught, but wasn't caught. And now Robinson Cano going to strike out Silly. Here's Conforto striking out Silly. And that's going to end that chance for the Mets. Here's Odubel Herrera. He's going to hit a double into left center. Feel that thing all the way to the wall. And Herrera will find himself on second base. And here is a Jackson who will strike out and now we have Kenley Jansen coming in for Philadelphia it's Chris Bryant up at the plate nobody on nobody out and Chris Bryant sends it again into the same general direction that thing is gone over 400 feet tying the ball game up comes Jimenez the least likely hero of all, and that thing is out of here also with two outs. So now Sir Anthony Dominguez is going to come in, and he is going to face Pete Alonzo, the man who won the Home Run Derby in real life, and he thinks it's still the Home Run Derby as he's cracking balls here. Release the Kraken. Edwin Diaz coming in the bottom of the ninth to close it. And he's going to get the strikeout of Colton Welker. The flyout of Bo Bichette. 
And now Reese Hoskins will be the sole chance for the, for the Phillies here against the Mets. And he's going to strike out Edwin Diaz. Two strikeouts out of his three batters face. Chris Bryant is your player of the game with his two solo shots. Seth Lugo gets the win. Kenley Jansen gets the loss. And, of course, the save for Edwin Diaz. Alonzo with a homer. McNeil with a homer. Jimenez with a homer. And Bryant with two homers. Five home runs for the New York Mets. Big offensive explosion for them there. Imagine if there were runners on base. They would have scored a lot more runs. But five solo shots was enough to get the job done here. Three runs in the ninth. And the New York Mets have won here in Philadelphia. So, as we move on, what is game number two? We will take a look. Nola did not even pitch bad in this game, but here we go. Game number two, Seattle Mariners at the Houston Astros. First place versus second place. We have a pitching matchup featuring Jacob DeGrom going into Houston to take on Lance McCullers Jr. here at Minute Maid Park. This could be a good pitching matchup. Two pretty good pitchers here. We will see if it's a pitcher's duel. With a runner on base, it's going to be a single down the left field line for Jose Altuve. After that single, as he gets a man first to third, it's going to be a walk for J.D. Martinez and then Edwin Encarnacion with the strikeout. But here's Omar Narvaez with the bases loaded in two outs. He's going to bloop one into left field. That's going to bring in two runs, and the Mariners go up 2 nothing. Here comes White. He's going to advance a runner, or he's going to get out I'm sorry and then here comes White for the Astros he's going to advance a runner over to third base with his deep fly out to right field that's going to give the Astros a chance here they got two on with one out for Robinson Chirinos who sends one packing that thing looks like it hit that tower back there three run blast and the Astros take a 3-2 lead here in the top of the fifth, it's Martinez. He's going to fly out with runners in scoring position. That's never good. Here is Seeger, and Seeger going to bloop one over into right field. Narvaez is going to go first to third. We're going to get runners on the corners. J.P. Crawford would then walk. That's going to set up this situation for Domingo Santana. Broken bat flying out to second. And then Malik Smith is going to hit one really deep and just going to get caught right there. So now here's Domingo Santana. Or that, I'm sorry, that's Malik Smith. So there's a strikeout with runner in scoring position. Roberto Osuna coming in to close in the ninth. He's going to get the strikeout of Malik Smith. He's going to get the strikeout of Mitch Haniger. And here is Jose Altuve, and he is going to strike out looking, and that is done. Roberto Osuna with the save. Robinson Chirinos, the player of the game. He hit the three-run home run. That's the game winner, and it happened way back in the second inning. Very light scoring in this one. Only three hits for Houston, but it was enough to bring in the three runs that they needed to win the ball game. Chirinos with his 12th home run of the season. Lance McCullers Jr., not his greatest outing, but it was enough. So here's your update, ladies and gentlemen. The Rays, one and a half games behind the Yankees. Indians lead the Twins by nine games. Tigers, 11 and a half out. Mariners leading the Astros by five and a half despite that loss. The Rays and the Astros lead the wild card race. Tied with the Red Sox are the Astros. Here in the National League, the Mets lead by a game. The Pirates lead the Reds by three games. The Dodgers lead the Padres by two and a half. Wild card is Reds Cardinals currently, but the Nationals, Cubs, Padres are all hot on the trails. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of FCBL. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series and this channel. Please go ahead and drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you are new and want to see more. If you all want to be a part of the FG fam, please sub now. Please share the video. I'll see you all in the next one.